Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hasham Ali Khan. Now I am continuing the lecture of set theory. So this video is the continuation of the last video where I have explained you the meaning of the term set, the elements of set, the representation of sets by two methods, roster or tabulation method and the rule method or set builder method. So I have explained these two methods, representation of sets by two methods with examples I have explained you in the last video. Apart from the different types of sets like finite set, infinite set, uh, then empty set, singleton set, equality of sets, equivalent to sets. These are the things I have explained you in detail in the last video. If you have not watched the last video, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject business statistics to select the topic set theory, watch the first video, get the command. If you are conceptually clear on different concepts, you don't find any difficulty in understanding the problems. So if you want the thorough knowledge, if you want the complete grasp on the topic, watch the video once twice definitely you can enjoy learning by watching these videos now i'm continuing the uh, lecture on set theory so next topic is regarding subset the meaning of the term subset see here a set a set a is said to be a subset of b if every element of a is also an element of b we express it by saying a is contained in b Suppose A is a set which contains all the elements which another set B is having. So B is having a number of elements. The same elements we are having in A. That means the A set. A set is having A, B, C, D. Four elements are there in A set. And B set is there A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. That means A is a subset of B. Because all the elements of A are contained in B. All the elements of A are contained in B. So we can say A is a subset of B. Another example, set A. The elements of set A are 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 are the elements of set A. Another set is there B. B set is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means all the elements of A are contained in element or elements of B. So we can say set A is a subset of set B. In other words, A is contained in B. So the formula for this, uh, the symbol for this subset is this one. A is contained in B. It is read as A is contained in B. This is called subset. Now proper set. The set A is called the proper subset of B. If and only if each element of A is also element of B and there is at least one element of B which is not an element in set A. See here, it is just like the subset only. Proper set means a set A is said to be a proper set of set B when all the elements of set A are contained in set B and apart from that, at least one element should be there, which is not in set A, which is not in set A. Example, A, B, C, three elements are there in set A. A, B, C, three elements are there in set A. Now, another set B is there. It is having A, B, C, D, E. Five elements are there. A, B, C, D, E. Then we can say A is a proper subset of B because all the elements of A we are having in B and apart from that B is also having some extra elements. Some extra elements are there in B. So we can say A is a proper subset. Next, universal set. Now I am uh, explaining about universal set. It is a non-empty set. Non-empty means it is having some elements. If there are no elements in the set, it is called empty set. But universal set is a non-empty set. In a is a non-empty set from which all subsets for our consideration are derived. For from which all subsets of our consideration are derived. So universal set is a huge set, complete set. From that we are drawing a number of subsets. Simple example I'll give you. 
Suppose the universal set are the alphabets of English language A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H up to Z up to Z. So all these are the universal. Suppose universal set is the alphabets English alphabets. Now we are driving some alphabets and making the set. For example set A. Set A is having A, B, C. Only three elements. Set B is having D, E, F. Set C we are having the elements X, Y, Z. That means all these subsets are deriving from the universal set. From the universal set. What is that universal set? It contains all English alphabets. So universal set is that set from which all subsets are derived for our consideration. And universal set will be denoted as U. That's it. Now I'll come to disjoint sets. Two sets are said to be disjoint if no element is common in both the sets. If the elements of both the sets are entirely different, then we can say disjoint sets. Example, the elements of set A, A, B, C. A, B, C are the elements of set A. And then set B, D, E, F. D, E, F. That means set A and set B have different elements. No common elements at all. So both the sets are called disjoint sets. Now set operations. So far I have explained you about the different types of sets. Now set operations. What are the set operations we can do? How we can make different types of sets? So first of all union of sets. Remember carefully because these topics, these concepts we are going to apply in the coming problems. Union of sets. The union of two sets A and B is a new set consisting of elements which belongs to A or B or both. We denote the union sets, two sets A and B as A union B. So in between A and B, we are having the symbol of U and U stands for union. That means a union set is a new set which is made by taking all the elements of A set or B set or both. A set or B set or both. We take all the elements. For example, A set. Example I have given here. If a set A is there, whose elements are A, B, C, D. These are the elements of set A. Another set is there, set B, whose elements are C, D, E, F, G. C, D, E, F, G. Now we want to find out a union of A and B. A union B is equal to, we take all the elements of A set, we take all the elements of B set or both. So what are the elements of A set? A, B, C, D. So we have taken A, B, C, D. Now here, C, D already we have taken here. C, D already we have taken. No need to take double time. Only once uh, enough. So C, D already we have taken E, F, G. So E, F, G are there in B set. E, F, G elements are there in B set. So we take E, F, G. So all the elements we have taken A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This is the union, A union B. It's a set which contains all the elements of A set or B set or both. That's all. This is the meaning of union. Then intersection of sets. Intersection of sets. The intersection of two sets A and B is defined as the set of all those elements which are in common A as well as B. That means two sets are there, A set, B set. Some elements are there in A set, some elements are there in B set. We take the common elements which are there in both the sets. The common elements of both the sets we take out. And we make a new set called intersection. A intersection B. Means those elements which are there in A as well as it is there in B. So it is denoted by A intersection B. This is the symbol of intersection. Symbol of intersection, opposite of U, inverse of U. So A intersection B. Suppose example A, the elements of A are A, B, C, D, four elements of A. B, B, D, E, F. Now you compare and see which are the common elements which are having both in A set and B set. A, A is not here, B is here, then C is not here, D is here. So if you compare only B and D are common in both sets. B and D is there in A set and B and D is there in B set. 
So ultimately A intersection B is equal to BD. That's it. So I've explained you about union of two sets and intersection. We can extend even two, three sets like that. Next uh, operation is difference of two sets. The difference of two sets. Example, suppose two sets are there A and B. We want to find out what is the difference between A and B. So if let A and B are two sets, the difference of these two sets denoted by A minus B. A minus B means difference between the two sets A and set B. A and B is the set of those elements of A which are not in B. That means compare A set elements and B set elements. Now we find out those elements of set A which are not there in set B. Which are not there in set B. We take out those elements. Again I repeat. The difference between A, A minus B is the set which contains those elements which are there only in A set. And the elements are not there in B set. The example. By seeing the example the concept will be clear. For example A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D are the elements of set A. And B, B set is there. D, E, F, G. D, E, F, G. Now we take into account only those elements of A which are not there in B. Now check A. Is there A in this B set? No, it is not there. So we take into account A. A minus B. We are finding out the difference A minus B. So A is an element which is there in set A. A is not there in set B. Similarly B. Is the B there in B, uh, B subset? No, B is not there. So B also will be taken. C. Check, is there C element in this B set? No, C element is not there. We take into account C. D. Check, D element is there in B set? Yes, D element is there. So D should not be taken. So A minus B is equal to A, B, C. That's it. This is called the difference of two sets. Next comes, comes to complement of a set. The complement of a set. Very important. All these things we have to apply in the coming video on problems of sets. The complement of set A is written as A dash or A to the power of C. The complement of set A will be denoted as A to the power dash or A to the power of C. Is the set of all elements of universal set and not in set A. All the elements of universal set and which is not in set A, excluding set A elements. Excluding set A elements, what are the other elements available in the universal set? In the universal set. That means leaving the elements of A set. Leaving the elements of A set, what are the other elements remaining? That is called A complement. Simple example I'll give you, easily you can understand. The example is... A in A complement is equal to universal set minus elements of universe minus A set elements. Elements of universal set minus elements of A set. You will get A complement. Example, let the universal set be the English alphabets and let A is equal to A, B, C, D. Very easy example I am giving. Suppose the universal set are the English alphabets. English alphabets are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H up to Z. So 26 alphabets are there from A to Z. So this is a universal set. Now one more set is there A set. A set is having four elements A, B, C, D. Four elements A, B, C, D. Now we want to find out the complement of A. So complement of A means all the elements of universal set except the element of A. Leaving the element of A. So what are the elements of A? A, B, C, D. Leave this A, B, C, D. Leave this A, B, C, D. And what are the remaining elements? E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So all the elements excepting this A, B, C, D. That is called complement of A. So then A complement is equal to up to A, B, C, D. We should not take A, B, C, D because A, B, C, D are there in A set. Leaving A, B, C, D, <coughs> E, F, G, G, H, and so on up to X, Y, Z. This is called complement of A. Right? Then, De uh, De Morgan law. One law is there, De Morgan law. 
So what is the what the De Morgan law says? If A and B are two sets of S, S is a universal test. So two sets are there A and B. Then A first A intersection B. A intersection B complement. A intersection B complement is equal to A complement union B complement. A complement union B complement. Similarly, A union B complement. A union B complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. A complement intersection B complement. Then if A, B and C are the sets, then A is equal to A minus B union C. A minus B union C is equal to A minus B intersection A minus C. When in bracket you are having union, so here you will get intersection. So A minus B intersection A minus C. Similarly, one more theorem is there. A minus B intersection C is equal to A minus B union A minus C. So here in bracket, if you are having intersection, here you take union. Here union, you will take intersection. That's all. Now, symmetric difference. Next concept is symmetric difference. If A and B are two sets, then the set A minus B union B minus A is called the symmetric difference. So if two sets are given A and B, then we can calculate A minus B union B minus A. What we get is symmetric difference of A and B. It is denoted as A symmetric difference B or A delta B. Example I have given here, A is equal to A, B, C, D. <coughs> B is equal to D, E, F, G. Now if you want the symmetrical difference, exclude the element which is there in both. Exclude the element which is there in both. D is there in both. Exclude it. So remaining A, B, C, E, F, G. These are the elements of A delta B. Then last and final, the number of elements in a set. The number of elements in a set will be denoted by n, small n. So if A is a set, if A is any set, then n, n A, small n, A, represent the number of elements in set A. Suppose A is a set which is having four elements. So n A is equal to four. In this way we represent the number of elements in a set. So I have completed the theoretical part briefly. Briefly, I have explained you all the meaning, the uh, meaning of the term sets, then elements of set, methods of representing the sets and different types of set and uh, set operations. So if you watch this video with full concentration, then you are aware about the concepts of the sets and easily we can understand the problem in the coming video. So I have explained you to the best of my ability. If you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video. Share the channel in your groups, in your friends, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments on these videos and lastly, don't forget to subscribe my channel. We'll continue the problems in the next video.